Welcome back to the vlog. I have another week in my life vlog for you guys. I'm starting this on Monday. Did my normal morning stuff this morning, like getting up, getting a workout in, walking cash, and then also getting some work done. I'm actually getting a massage today, which I never really do. I love getting massages. I think that they're so nice and honestly, it's just really helpful. I carry a lot of my stress in my shoulders. And so really sweet. There's a massage place in Dallas. It's in the Preston Hollow area called the Now Massage. They actually reach out and asked if I wanted to come today which is so sweet and so I decided to come today and take them up on their offer so it looks super cute inside though just like really cute and trendy and actually my friend Olivia Vargas if you guys know on YouTube she actually works for them so I was contacted by her which is cool okay, I hope you guys are having a great day so far I had just kind of a busy day so far so I haven't gotten to talk to you guys but I just wanted to say hey I'll let you guys know how it goes once I'm done. I think for this evening, I'm just finishing up some work, gonna make some dinner, and then see what the rest of the week has for us. vlog i've been vlogging but not actually talking so i wanted to say a few things one yesterday's massage was 10 out of 10 i would highly recommend if you guys are near now massage they have them all over it was so beautiful two i've just been working and doing stuff this morning but i, I got my hair blown out from a girl named ali here in dallas she works at voss salon and she is just starting out at this salon her prices are pretty affordable for coloring and cutting and she was so sweet and did such a good job i think we're gonna try to hang out honestly it's the best way to meet people is just through instagram if you're trying to find a hairstylist in the area i think that she's so great she's so sweet it's just always nice to get your hair done i feel so pampered this week i'm typically not the person who does this many kind of self-care things something that Aiden and i have always wanted to do and as we get older just really love the idea of is buying a property and renting it out on airbnb the more that we go to airbnbs and especially ones that have kind of more of an experience element to them the more that we love the idea of doing that one day I'm not sure if this will be down the road or kind of a sooner project, but it's something that I would love to do and just to learn more about. I'm not really someone who's a dreamer. I don't dream that often, but I think it's good to always just have goals and things that you wanna look forward to doing. So if anyone actually does that, feel free to let me know down below. We're not talking about like renting out our apartment as an Airbnb, but actually buying a place and renting it out and making it just like a fun place to go to. But that ties in today's sponsor, which is why I wanted to talk about it. And that is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online platform that has a ton of classes classes for people who are just trying to be more creative or enter in a new business venture or literally learn just skills that you've always wanted to have. So they have classes on cooking, they have classes on photography, film, fashion, you name it, they have a class on it. I've actually been learning from a few different classes that I wanted to share on here. The first one is Art of the Start, turning ideas into a high growth business. This one kind of just takes you to how to take an idea, like an idea that we have, and move it into an actual business venture. I love this course because it talks a lot about how whenever you're starting a business, the main thing that you're trying to do is actually give people value and meaning. And that's something that we always get when we go on these weekend trips is just really feeling more connected in our marriage, feeling more connected with friends, feeling more connected with nature. And I would love to actually be a part of that and make that experience for someone else. I also have been taking an interior design one. It's called Styling Your Space, Creative Tips and Techniques for Interior Design. This one actually kind of goes into how to actually make a space, make it feel cozy, make it feel welcoming, which is especially important for something like this. So I've been doing that. I obviously showed you guys how we put together our apartment, but I'm not perfect. I don't know kind of the science behind interior design. So I've been trying to learn a bit more about that on there. And it's really nice because on Skillshare, there are no ads on any of the lessons. So you don't have to skip through ads 
ads like you would on YouTube. I've been trying to take about an hour a day to kind of learn more about this and to see if it's something that we would actually like to be doing. And it's great if you're like me and you just have an idea and you're trying to start out or wanting to learn something and you don't have a lot of prior knowledge, it's great for those people. Or if you do know a lot about something but you're just trying to kind of refine your skills, it's also great for that. They also have live sessions so you can actually connect with the teachers of different lessons that you really admire. And of course, because this is a membership platform, you will be with like-minded people who are also creative, trying to learn. And, and I had honestly seen so many of these ads for my other YouTube friends and just never really bit the bullet. But I can just say, if you have two, I would highly recommend signing up because it is so good and it's so easy because you can just do it from the comfort of your home. And I'm so thankful because they were so sweet and they gave me the opportunity to offer the first 1,000 people who go down below and click on the link a free 30-day trial of using Skillshare. So I'll have that down below. Feel free to go click and check it out. And also, if you do, let me know what class is your favorite or if you already use Skillshare, which class do you really like? I would love to know. I'm actually gonna go downstairs into our office space and do some work down below. Sometimes I miss the element of going to school and learning and it kind of feels like it when you're taking your work somewhere else. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down there and work on these classes and I'll check in with you guys later. I'm in this conference room right now, but I wanted to say there are wine bottles behind me because this is actually like a wine storage room too, which is really random, but it's something our apartment has. But if you're wondering why are there so many wine bottles behind you? We are going to this place called the Rustic in Dallas tonight. I've been wanting to go there. It looks really cute. My friend Kenzie's always posting it on her TikTok and her Instagram. And so we are going to go there tonight, which I'm really excited about. But before then, I'm going to go ahead and read some of my book. I'm trying to read more because I've been bad about reading lately. I've been on my phone too much. So I'm going to read for a bit while Aiden works out. It looks really similar to the Katie Trail Ice House, which is another restaurant that we love in Dallas. You can bring dogs. I think you can bring dogs to the Rustic too, but I'm not sure if we're going to bring him because it's just a bit hot. We'll see. I don't actually know how hot it is right now. I talked about how my friend Kelly actually moved to Dallas and we're going to hang out on Thursday and I think we're all going to go to the Ice House then. It's my favorite Dallas place, so definitely gonna be a good week. We have a lot of fun things this week. I'm also hoping that my sister Lindsay has her baby this week too. She's keeping the name a secret. I keep wanting to say the name, but that is another thing that I'm really looking forward to. I just keep waiting to get the text. So hopefully it'll come soon. When I got my massage, I bought this candle from there and it's so cool because once the wax melts, it can actually be used as a lotion. So I'll show you guys, or it's like a body oil. Honestly, this outfit feels like pajamas that I'm wearing tonight, but I'm still gonna wear it. I'm just wearing this top, which I got from a boutique that I cropped. And then I got these shorts from Target and I think they're so cute, but they're definitely too big. So I might go get them altered because they need to be more like this, but I love the pattern on them. I think it's such a cute pattern. I'm just gonna throw on some sandals with this. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. I'm starting talking in the day, in the morning, which I never do. It's about 7.45. I'm about to head to the gym for a bit. Sitting here with my coffee. Aiden is in the shower. He is in the office today, so it's just me today. I just wanna say, I think it's so funny. My last video was talking about how clear my skin has been. Immediately after that video, I got a ton of pimples. <laughs> That's literally like God trying to humble me for saying my skin was clear. For today's plans, we need to plan a podcast. We need to plan a YouTube video. Our one year anniversary is coming up, so I thought it would be fun to do another episode with Aiden on my podcast, and I need to plan that out. I have an idea of what I wanna do, but I want to kind of solidify that. So it'll just be like a fun episode though, nothing too serious, maybe a little serious. And then plan out my video, which I'm not really sure what I wanna do yet. I know I wanna do some sort of talking video. I got invited to this Zoom event, and it is some sort of dog training with Cesar Malin, who is a very famous dog trainer, and so I'm really excited for that so we have that at noon i'm really sure i think i was supposed to get a package for that but i don't think i got it so we'll see how much i can participate still gonna be fun so that's my lunch break for the day and then when aiden comes back i think i'm gonna head to the grocery store because i need to get some stuff for dinner so just some chill stuff yeah <laughs> play it I 
just finished getting ready and I have two really exciting things to share with you guys that happened while I was getting ready. One, Lindsay's water broke, which is so exciting. She's been wanting to have this baby and not have to be induced. So I'm so thankful that this happened. I am assuming by the time this vlog goes up, she's announced it. So I'm just gonna share it on here. Maybe we'll get to see her this week. I don't know, we'll see. Aiden and I have been wondering what we wanted to do for our anniversary. And we were talking about it last night. We're like, okay, we're just gonna stay somewhere around here and just like, go to a nice dinner or something like that, which is really nice and really great. But we didn't do our international honeymoon last year, obviously, because of everything going on. And so I'm so excited. He just texted me that he booked glamping for us, which is something I've always wanted to do, like the fancy camping with AC and all that kind of stuff. But we're gonna go for our anniversary weekend, which is August 22nd. So I am so excited for that. It was just so sweet because I wasn't expecting anything and I just talked about the Airbnb thing and how those are my favorite things to do. And I'm definitely gonna vlog that, so look out for that. But I'm so excited. And I just wanted to say, sometimes I'll get kind of like marriage advice and how to keep the spark alive within marriage. And I can't tell you how important it is to just continue doing stuff like this, not necessarily going on trips, but small random acts of kindness, small things that just shows that you're still dating the other person, you're still wanting to make an effort for the other person and just trying to make them feel loved. For me, my love language is definitely acts of service and physical touch. And not necessarily like doing acts of service, like things around the house, but more so just small things that show that the other person's thinking about you, small things that shows that they're thinking about things that you like. And that stuff just really goes a really long way within a marriage and it means so much. And that's something that I think we've always tried to do within our marriage because it is really easy just to kind of turn into roommates when you're just kind of going through things. You've been dating or married for a while. I mean, we've been dating for, it'll be five years in October and then married for a year. So it's definitely been quite a bit of time. It's just easy to kind of get stuck in that way, but I'm so excited. And yeah, those things just really help keep the spark alive. And we're gonna bring Cash too, because Cash is our Velcro dog and he comes everywhere with us. But I'm about to do this dog training Zoom and then I'm gonna head to a coffee shop and go do some work. got back from working at the coffee shop which was so nice it honestly feels so good just to get out i've talked a lot about dealing with like loneliness as it relates to working from home and that kind of thing and it's just been nice to get out every now and then so i've been trying to do that a couple times a week when i just have computer work to do but i'm gonna open this package i don't know who this is from this is a pr package oh this is so cute i had a feeling this was them but this is from amazon it's part of their delivering smiles box and so it's a ton of stuff for cash i think it's so funny i think cash gets more pr stuff than i do anymore and these are just so cute so thank you so much amazon this is so sweet you can always use more treats It's Thursday today. I have some really good news. I officially have another niece, which is so exciting. Um, Lindsay went into labor last night and she had her baby girl. And so I'm actually gonna go over tomorrow and see her. So I'm definitely going to share that tomorrow. But because of that, I'm trying to get everything done today so I can just spend time over there and kind of help out because she already has a son. So obviously there's just like a lot of changes, but I'm so excited to see her. I cannot wait, but I just recorded a Q and A video. I'm about to do some editing and then I'm actually headed to get my nails redone, which I honestly don't have time for. This is kind of the last thing I should be doing. Unfortunately, I didn't cancel in time. And so I don't want to pay a canceling fee. So I took Aiden to work this morning. I'm gonna go do that, going to pick him up. And then tonight we're going to hang out with Kelly. Here's my outfit of the day. My top is from Target. I can't believe it's from Target. It's so cute. It is a bit see-through, but I still think it's cute. And then my pants are from Madewell. These are pretty old. They're just like the culotte style. 
And then I'm wearing these shoes from Target. I feel like I don't normally get this dressed up anymore, so felt like I had to share. Before I start editing, because I need to send in a video for approval, I wanted to talk about something that I got a DM about. I talked about this in my last vlog, but I recently started, if you guys know Rachel Paul, she's college nutritionist on Instagram. You've probably seen her reels. She does a lot of reels about like easy meals to make. I started her meal plan, her subscription service a couple weeks ago, and she does do a lot of weight loss focused stuff, but I wanna say I'm not trying to lose weight. I actually just really like her recipes and I like how she meal plans and coordinates meals and it's a lot of just really whole foods. So like if you're vegan, vegetarian, it's really easy to modify all of her meals and it has an emphasis on high fat, high protein. And I am obsessed. I love it so much. I have been loving making her recipes. I've been loving eating in a way where I'm eating something that's more filling for, oh my gosh. I literally love you so much. You are just too good. I don't deserve you. Eating higher fat foods in the morning so I'm more full and it has been really good. So I just wanted to say that, that I've really been liking it. It's pretty pricey. I think it's $30 a month. So that's why people have been asking me because it just is more of an investment, but I really like it. It has been really good. Obviously everyone's body is different, but this is like the way of eating that I found has been the most helpful. Aiden also really likes it. Like as a guy, he says the meals are a lot more filling and they're also easier. We're trying to kind of spend less on groceries because when we first got married, I was just making these very elaborate meals, which I love from Half Baked Harvest because they are so good, but it just adds up a lot when you're buying so many ingredients for meals. And what I like about Rachel's meals is they're very simple. It's like five ingredients and a big emphasis on vegetables. We've been trying to eat more vegetables. So that is what I've been doing and I love it. Like I've been having my yogurt bowl every morning, usually like a big salad for lunch, two snacks during the day, and then some kind of chili or last night I made this cauliflower gnocchi with some chicken that I showed you guys and they're just really good. So I'm not sponsored or anything. I'm not making money off this. I'm just sharing it because I've gotten a couple of questions because I've been making a lot of her recipes. So I really like them. I think that they're really good. I just made myself a really simple lunch of just some chicken, grape tomatoes and pesto and then I just topped it with pepper. It's really good. <laughs> Just got out of my nail appointment, which I have been loving doing, but this will probably be my last time for a while. I just got really simple cream nails. I think that they're really pretty. I wanted to switch it up, but I usually just do like a light nude. But while I was in there, I got an email that someone tried to use my debit card and spend $3,000 at a tire store, which is like, if you're gonna hack someone's credit card, guess it makes sense to do it at a place like that. I hope their car is okay. But I was like, really? $3,000? Thankfully, our accounts are linked, so Aiden's figuring it out because that kind of stuff is not fun to deal with when someone tries to hack into your debit card. But I'm gonna head back home now. I'm a little bit stressed because I need to edit a video and do some other stuff still, but it's okay. I'm glad that went well. We talk cash when we say, where's your daddy? He goes to find Aiden. And so he knows now when we pull up to Aiden's work, when I bring him that he's coming, he gets so excited. Who's that? Who's that? Who is that? Who is that your daddy? <laughs> I know you're not supposed to make a big deal when people come home, but. He's so good. He's How so good. He's trying to take your He's seat. so excited. Chill. It is Friday. I have not vlogged until now. We just stopped at QT to get some gas, but I'm so excited because we're on our way right now to go meet Juniper, my niece. Lindsay officially posted on Instagram, so I can actually say that that's her name, but we're headed over there to go see them. I did not vlog a lot today because for one, I was just working on a lot of edits on different videos, but also our card hack situation is actually really complicated because they hacked into a lot of our accounts and we're making a lot of random purchases. And so we mostly, honestly, not even we, it was pretty much Aiden was dealing with it today, not really me. But that kind of consumed us for the entire day. So we're headed over there right now though. It's like 5.30. I'm wearing this dress that I also got from Target, of course. It's like one of my new favorites. I'm just wearing it with some sneakers, but I'm so excited. Let's go see Juniper. When I look at the way you sleep, I know I'm home. Did you, Mom? Did 
Did you feel it? I feel it. Oh, we got wipe it, Mom. Wipe it? Well, that's if she doesn't poop it. Happy Saturday, guys. I actually did this last week with my vlog. I carried the vlog into Saturday and Sunday because I really like making these longer. My last one was 30 minutes, so I'm going to try to make this one long too. But yesterday was so nice. Honestly, just warmed my heart so much. She's such a sweet baby, Juniper. I don't think she cried the entire time we were over there. She was just snuggling and it was so sweet. Just sitting down at my desk because I post on Saturdays and I always respond to comments for the first hour when I post. So I'm just responding to comments right now. It's actually really cloudy today which is weird it's hardly ever cloudy i think today we are just going to do a lot of getting our house in order i feel like it's a little bit chaotic here and it's a little bit just dirty i feel like we haven't been keeping up with stuff throughout the week so doing some laundry just picking up things aiden's getting the car washed right now and something that i want to do that i saw my friend allison do she did this gallery wall on her bedroom wall and because our anniversary is coming up i still haven't gotten wedding photos developed and while you guys know i don't like to have a ton of stuff on the walls there's a strip in our bedroom that i think would be really pretty to put some frames there so i might run to ikea and actually see what they have there i don't know if that's gonna be crazy though i don't know if it's gonna be really crowded so we'll see just a chill saturday which is honestly really nice to have i feel like because next weekend we're gonna be gone it's kind of nice to have just a weekend here chilling. I just made myself some lunch. I topped a bell pepper with some turkey slices, some mozzarella cheese, and then baked it at 450 with some guacamole. And this is gonna be my snack slash lunch. This time I am pretty sure Moments passing away I've never seen before photos from our wedding so i'm gonna use these i just made the black and white put them in here and then i'm gonna have aiden help me hang them because he can be better at helping but i'll probably try to figure out how i'm gonna position them without a mark did you ever let go did you ever not know I just finished hanging these. I think I'm just gonna keep these three here and not do any more because I think it looks good just keeping the numbers odd over here. And I think that it looks fine, just these three. This is what it looks like from the other side. I feel like it doesn't look straight, but it's because of the shadows. I promise it's straight, we measured out. It looks really good though. I just ended up putting this frame on this wall on the shelf, which I think also looks really good. And I finally got candlesticks for those candle holders. So I think it looks cute. Happy Sunday guys. I really have not vlogged a lot today because it's just been a really chill Sunday. We went to church. I showed a clip of that. And then we've just been hanging out around the house having a very chill weekend, like I said, which ended up being really nice. But now it is close to seven o'clock right now. We're actually about to go take some photos with my friend, Melissa Haley. She's a photographer in the Dallas area. She took these photos of us a while ago. She's super talented. I really like her photos, but I thought it would be nice to get some done for our one year anniversary. So we're actually going to White Rock Lake tonight and we are taking some photos there because I think the sunset will set around eight o'clock tonight. So we're gonna take some photos, which I'm really excited about. I feel like it's been a while since we've done that. So it's always nice to get some. So my dress is from Target. It's really cute. I think it's cute because the back is all open, which is really cute and flowy. Just putting on some lipstick since we just had dinner. Reach out for me. Take my hand and lead even when I disagree that is it for this vlog honestly one of my favorite vlogs it was just such a happy week so i hope you guys enjoyed i also just wanted to mention again if you want to check out skillshare i'll have it down below if you're one of the first thousand people to click you will get a free month trial of skillshare so definitely check that out i'm so thankful for you guys and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye friends mm -hmm.